Good morning, people. Right, it's Sunday morning. It's just gone half nine. I've been here a little bit. Uh, as you can see, the shop is looking like we're getting there. We've been here just over two months now. It's gone really fast. Um, it's been a really nice change from the small shop next door, thanks to the hairdresser who wanted to move. Uh, She's doing well, we're doing well, it's been a win-win. Um, something I want to put to you guys is the plans that I've got for the shop from now on. Um, it's been quite a struggle for the past five years, uh, but we've made it. We've, we're into year five, we want to do lots of cool stuff. We're going to start a Blood Bowl League next month. Um, we're going to run it as a friendly, play whenever you like. Um, the person who is going to win the league will be the person with the highest percent, um, highest percentage wins. So you might play five games, somebody else might play 20, but you might still win it. It's going to be no pressure. We're going to run it every four months. So uh, you've got plenty of time to get games in. As many people as possible. The whole point of that is so that we um, can show you the ins and outs of playing Blood Bowl. Lots of people play Blood Bowl and they end up falling out with a game because somebody comes in with a massive team against their small team. They haven't got a clue what to do against it. So we're, we're, we're looking at running it not like a training league, but for better words, it'll be that. It's not saying that you don't have to be a newbie to start it. You can be a a veteran player. The idea is no pressure. Help out the the, the new guys, um, and you can have games that are exhibition games, so you can help the new guys without having to worry about having your games played, um, etc., etc. There'll be more details on that coming up. Other things that we're doing, we're going to be running other leagues, uh, other four month leagues for one forty thousand for Team Yankee for Flames of War for World of Exodus for nearly every game we do. Now all this is work in progress. We are hopefully going to get all this done by the end of the year, so that you guys have got something, some reason to actually want to come down and use the tables. Now I'm not saying that there isn't a reason at the minute. There's a wonderful reason. Come and play your mates, but lots of people need to have that incentive uh, to not just sit at home and think about playing so I'm guilty of that myself I used to spend loads of time sitting thinking of doing something and then not do it I still do it now in the shop to be honest with you um, I'm trying to break the habit and I'd like to try and break the habit with the gamers um, we're doing Wednesday Thursday Friday night till 11 o'clock on gaming um, the shop will be officially closing at 10 p.m. That means that you'll have an hour left to finish a game. But as you all know, we if we've got stuff to do, we'll stay here. So this is, again, no pressure to actually get done. But we would like it to get done, of course. Um, so from 6pm onwards, 6pm till 10 o'clock, will be the, the gaming. If you think you can get a game in within an hour, then come down at like quarter to 10, get set up and start playing. Um, the idea is we're trying to make it as accessible as possible. We've got four lovely six foot tables and we've got three three foot by four foot tables. So skirmish, big games, whatever you want to do, we can accommodate you. Um, Sunday night, so Sunday daytime even. Get it right, Matt. Sunday daytime will be opening officially at 11. I'm down here at half nine normally anyway. So if you need to come down early, just give me a shout. But from 11 o'clock till 9 o'clock, we'll be doing gaming all day. Again, if you're taking part in our leagues or campaigns or whatever, you can play those on the Sunday. You can play them whenever you want. The shop is open from 11 o'clock till 6 o'clock every day but Monday and Tuesday. The exception to that is Mondays. When bank holiday is on, it's 11 till 5. That's going to be a permanent thing now. Um, so... Don't worry, bank holiday comes, you've got the, the long weekend, you can come down on Monday and play. This also means this Monday I'm going to be here, so please come down and join me. Stop my boredom. Um, 
we're going to be having on a Sunday evening from nine o'clock till whenever the video finishes a live stream, a live stream of a game. Now you can have your say in that. You can tell us what game you want to, to actually see played. You can tell us what you want to see reviewed. We can review models. We can review the scenery. We did a, little, a lovely one for Flames of War the other week where we set up two tables with brand new scenery, showed you the ins and outs of what comes in the boxes, did a quick review of it. Also with these, we're going to have some giveaways. We've had a lot of companies tell us if we do a video, they'll give us some stuff to give away. So that's something positive there. Um, I don't know how we're going to do that, whether it's going to be a competition during the video, whether it's going to be come down and buy, buy a set and have a chance to win another item for that gaming system. Um, something else that you'll see is the lights in here. Um, those ones there, they've, they've, they've gone. Um, so I'm going to have to get some new lights in. So the plan is some nice lighting above the tables. I'm going to change all the, the way the lights work in this place. They're going to be new wires, new wires, new wiring, so that we know, we know it's, all, it's all going to work. We're going to have strip lights across the tables so that every table is well lit, strip lights across the stock. The ones behind me, you can see they're illuminated. They work nicely. They work fine. Um, I have noticed it gets quite dark on an evening, as, as you can guess, without the lights that work. So that's going to be something we're going to be doing. Um, we'll be doing that when we can, to be honest, because we need to open and we need to be accessible for you. We can't be doing electrics when you're in the shop. So we're going to have to try and find a day where it's closed to do this. Um, so the lighting is going to get sorted. If that's what's putting you off, it might be, it puts me off, to be honest. Um, I end up doing my modelling at the front of the shop because I ain't got sufficient lighting. Um, we still do commission painting, so I'm doing that in between you guys coming down and buying things. Um, we're also going to have store challenge armies. So one of them, which some, some of you already know, is our Tau Force. Uh, the Tau Force is the supremacy armour, um, which if I walk backwards without falling over, I can show you... So the Supremacy Armour and the Tau Forces, just there, look, in the cabinet. There's only one painted model, because I haven't had a chance to do much. But it's going to be Supremacy Armour, two Ghost Keels, two Tau Commanders, and some Marksmen. Now, if you want to play the rules that say you can't have two Tau Commanders, that's fine. We can ad adapt the army, that's perfectly fine. But the idea is... You will have to kill everything in the army without it killing you first. It's a very difficult army to play against, which is why it's a store challenge army. Um, but again, the person who ranks top of that league, say league, whatever you want to call it, the person who ranks top in X amount of months will win a new army, a new box set or something. So the idea is you're coming down, you play it, you have fun, you... You play to win it, but obviously it's going to be difficult, so don't get too upset if you don't win it. Um, something else I want to do as well as that is have a challenge force for each system. And I'm going to let you guys choose those forces. So let me say, uh, if you want to do Warlord games, you want to be a, a bolt action player, then you tell us, as a poll, put, put, put a poll up at some point, tell us what nation you want us to play, whether it's Hungarians, Germans, Italians... We will make a force, make it as difficult as possible to 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 play against. So you've got a nice challenge, hence what's called it's all challenge army. And again, if you win that, you get the person who comes top. Uh, we'll we'll get some 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 sort of reward, new new army deal, whatever, new products coming out. So you'll be getting something as a reward for your hard work. Uh, we've just got the air paints uh, when we moved in, and we've extended our games workshop range. Um, we're looking at playing more Team Yankee, Flames of War, Wild West Exodus. Josh has got a lovely force. I've got a force that I've not even built up yet from when I used to play it. So I'll be looking at getting that done. Again, I've got some pretty cool shit for that. Oh, I swore. Is that loud? Who knows? I did it anyway. Um, so I want, I want you to have a challenge, but a fun challenge. Everyone knows when they play me, I'm a pretty fun guy. I'm not a mushroom. But I'm a pretty fun guy. Um, I'll try and make it as exciting as possible for you. We also can do you lots of demo games. If you want to play a demo game, give us a shout. I want to learn how to play 40k, Matt. That's fine. Come down. I'll show you. Again, my demos, I like to think they're pretty fun. Uh, they're not going to bore you to death. 
and it'll be the most excitement you can have with me in the shop. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah! Okay, so, we're looking at getting a sign, but we're waiting on the sign company to change her, uh, the neighbour's sign over to... to uh, so, she needs to sue, sue the cube of hers. It's currently above ours. You can see my hand. It's waving around. You can't see what I'm doing with it. I could be doing anything. But I'm pointing at the sign at the minute. So, we're going to have a sign done. Um... For the minute, we've got the banners we made for the convention. I'm thinking of just hanging one of those over for the minute. The sign company is looking at ours, but currently I'm not happy with their design. A lovely guy called Tom, one of our regular customers, who designed us the banner for the convention. I'm more than likely going to be adapting that, giving it to the sign company and getting them to make the sign. Unfortunately, the sign is a lot of money. Uh, so that will be a work in progress when I've got spare cash. I put a lot of money into like just sorting out this place when we moved in. Um, I'm going to have lots of nice ideas for the gaming tables. I would like, within the next year, to get that done. Um, it's going to be lots of nice shelving, places to put your armies, your dead piles, whatever. So you don't have to have everything on the table. Because no one wants that. No one wants gaming, ga gaming cases lying around the shop or anything. So we're going to try and make it so it's as user-friendly as possible. So that you don't have to have everything lying around. Uh, I would love to have some dice rolling mechanism built into there so you can just pour your dice down a funnel and it rolls them for you. You, 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 you know what I mean. You've, you've seen the, the dice rolling trays. I'm thinking something rather cool, something looking like uh, one of the old World War One funnels that you, you shout down to go, full speed ahead! And then you just roll your dice down one of those and it goes, <laughs> and then clatters down at the bottom and you roll lots of sixes. Nah, you'll roll ones. Um, there's just all sorts, all sorts that I want to say. Uh, I could, I could spend hours and hours and hours on this video. Um, but the main point is just, just we've not forgotten about the people who matter to us. You guys, our customers. You guys are really important to us. To to me, without you guys, I wouldn't have a job. I wouldn't have a shop. So, I value your support. I value everything you've done for us. And I want you to get involved. I want you to tell us what you would like us to do for you. What campaigns, what competitions, what tournaments. I'd love to run tournaments. Um, we're looking at getting magic. We're looking at getting... What's it called? I've forgotten now. Key, Key Forge something. It's this new game that the guy who made magic brought out. Uh, I'm looking to get that if I can. Run competitions for that. They're really nice pre-built decks that you can't change. So no power game involved there. Awesome. We don't like power gamers. But we do. We like to beat power gamers. That's always good. Um, again, on the subject of power gaming, I'd like it to be friendly. I want friendly, friendly games. If you come down with the intention of just destroying your opponent, do it with a bit of fun. Make it fun for them. If you know you're going to win, what's the point in playing? So at least do it with a bit of a laugh and joke at the same time. Um, I don't want... Ah, I beat you. Uh, you know, so... Not saying don't come down, but when you do come down and use power gaming lists or whatever, just remember you're playing somebody else. You are playing against another human who has feelings. And if you destroy them... Without a smile on your face, without a bit of joke, a bit of a laugh, a bit of a next time you might be able to do this, then you're just going to ruin the hobby for everybody. So, like I said, we're going to have our challenge armies. They're going to be kind of power gamer lists, but we're, the whole point of it is to try and make the other person better at their game. Just because you're good doesn't mean you have to make other people suffer. If you're good, and you're very good, then give them advice. Give them help. Tell them how to beat your list. There's nothing wrong with that. Losing, winning, that's kind of a, a secondary. Playing the game is what matters. Playing the game and having fun. You come down to roll your dice. We all play uh, an imaginary game. It's fantasy. It's whatever. We live in a dream world. So... What's the point in 
destroying somebody's hopes and dreams when all we're playing is, 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 is little toy soldiers. I hope I've not upset anybody there. If I have, then um, I do apologise. But Last Bastion is going to be a nice, friendly place to come. Nice, safe, friendly atmosphere to come and play your games. Where you can have a laugh and a joke and, and see somebody else's army, see how it plays. And just in general, have an awesome time. So on that note, I can see now it's 15 minutes long as this video, which you've probably all just buggered off by now. You've got, oh, I'm not boring. So, at the minute, we're a bit of a mess. You can probably see that. I've got stuff out. I've been building armies, so that's going to happen. We have a kind of setup. You can see the kind of setup. This is going to change over time. You will see it change over time. If you come down regularly, you can even take part in the change. You can help us. Help build cabinets. Help build whatever. Help fill the cabinets. Bring down your painted armies. Why not have, have them on display? Uh, we also are taking trade-ins. We've been doing that a year, for years now. Um, if you've got an army you don't want anymore, bring it down, trade it in for a new army. We give you, as a trade-in, on a new army. We'll add up how much your army's worth. And we will give you 20% of the cost. So if it's worth 100 quid, you get 20 quid to spend on new models. Um, may not sound like a lot, but we then eBay the product. We eBay it, we sell it on to new people, and we only sell it on for about half half price anyway. Uh, we usually, most, most armies come in, they'll need either stripping to increase the value. Not that you're bad painting, just you might not have painted it the way somebody else wants it. So we'll strip it, we'll fix it, we'll add bits to it so to make it more sellable and again as people have told in the past yeah you could do this yourself you could do it yourself and sell it on ebay or whatever but it's the time and effort it takes to do that time to list it time to sort it out time to photograph it time to wait for it to sell so this is the quick and easy way of doing it get yourself a new army by, tra by trading in your own in <laughs> trading in your old one see that works Make a funny face, it works. You get you get your words out. Um, I can't think what else I'm going to say. I've blabbered on. But ba basically, long and short of it is, we are doing the best we can at the minute with the resources we have. We would like to, in the future, have better gaming table set up with places to put all your stuff. We would like to run store challenge armies where you come down and you play our challenge army and you can win something if you are the best at yeah if you have to, to beat it just do well against it so if, if you've lost the least units against it then you go top it isn't like win it or lose it it's how well you do tell us for each gaming system what army you would like us to, to use we'll build the army we'll have it painted by a professional that's that's me I like to think I'm professional. Um, and then it'll be something fun to play against. We also want to run competitions. Tell us what competition we'll run. So long and short, we need your input to tell us how we, to tell us to tell us how you would like this shop to run for you. Because I could run it however I liked, but it's you at the end of the day, you are the end user. Tell us what you want to have in this shop, and I will do everything in my power. To make that happen. Okay. So. We are now. 5 to 10. I'm going to sign off. Because of the, the first people coming in to play D&D soon. So. Love you all. It's been great. Working for you. For the past 5 years. And here's to working for you. For another 5, 10, 15, 20. Until I retire. Because this is my passion. This is what I want to do. I want you guys to have the best experience you can for your hobby. Okay? Thank you very much. I don't know what else to say. I'm just going to blabble on if I blabble on. Blah, 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 if I just carry on. So, I'll say bye-bye. There's my hand waving. Bye-bye. Hope to see you all soon. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Have a laugh at me. Have a joke at me. Share my funny faces on, on YouTube. Whatever. I don't, I don't mind. Uh, and we'll see you all in the future. See you all today, tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whatever, if we ever open on Tuesday. And just come down and use us. Alright? Thanks, guys. Adios.
That's goodbye, by the way.